What is up guys? My name is Sean and welcome back to another episode of Authentic Life. Today is going to be somewhat of a little bit of a quicker video, but basically I've had a lot of people that have been asking me everything I've done to the truck so far to make it a awesome daily driver. And in fact, there was even a gentleman, I don't name names, but he was saying that he thought his Cummins was a better daily driver than mine because he got better gas mileage. And you know what? That is perfectly fine. We all got our own opinions, right? But I'm still going to argue against you that my truck's still a better daily driver because, well, I don't have the maintenance cost of a diesel and my dog is going nuts right now chasing a bag. What'd you get? Sorry for that distraction. But anyways, getting back to it, I'm going to run around the truck and show you everything that I've done to it, starting from the first day that I got it up until uh, the most recent thing that I've done. But I do have some updates for you because I do want to make the channel a little more interesting instead of all just about my F-150. And to tell you guys the truth, I've been looking for quite a few different toys to go ahead and buy. At first, I was trying to buy a boat. Well, the boat didn't pan out because, uh, well, you have to have a certain amount of years paid on loans, and I typically try to pay cash for a lot of things. I'm trying to buy a house. There are no houses on the market right now, which is absolutely nuts. And three, four, five, I don't know, there's so many different toys I want, but I'm so torn between getting a second vehicle to use for work and for the channel, or maybe I go get a toy. Maybe I go snag a Razor or another dirt bike or something along those lines, but drop in the comments below what you guys would like to see me buy. That way we can, uh, you know, we can help distinguish this channel a little bit more. All right, getting back into this, I'm going to post pictures too of each and every thing I've done and uh, and a little bit of videos and pictures of exactly what I bought after I bought the truck within the first few weeks quick video of it now and I'll add it up on there too but I put a stock photo and I'll put the one after but I did a tint right I did 5% tint on the truck I love doing the 5% because gosh during the day nobody can see you and two I don't need to wear my sunglasses I've done it to every one of my trucks right so I'll never not tint at 5% so here is a picture of the truck completely stock before I bought it and before the tint right now here is now a photo of the truck, still stock, but with the tint on it. The next thing that I did to the truck was actually the wheels, the tires, and the leveling kit, right? That was the next thing. So here's a picture of what it looked like right after it got done sitting out front of the shop. Now that you've seen what it looked like right after, here's another video, quick video of, you know, live video. It's hard to see with the sun right now, but the wheels, tires, put pictures of each thing that I bought from four wheel parts. So first I'll have the wheels, then I'll put the tires, and then I'll go ahead and put the suspension kit as well so you guys can see it. The next thing that I did to the truck that's just super small and, you know, it really doesn't any do anything. It makes it look like an RC car, right? It was just the shorty antenna. So... I ordered that thing off of Amazon. I will post a picture of what I ordered as well. And last but not least, the very last thing that I did to this truck was actually, you know what? I didn't even do it. I got this as a birthday gift from a very, very, very special lady. And I love this topper to death. And I don't think I'll ever get rid of it because it's so convenient. It's a trifold. I can store stuff back there. I can lock it. I mean, this is the best thing ever. So thank you so much for my awesome birthday gift. But that's kind of the runaround of everything I've done to the truck. It's really not that much if you really count it out and you include the wheels and tires, include the level kit as well with the tires. It's like four or five different things I've done to the truck. But I will argue to the day that this is the best daily driving truck that you can get. It gets awesome gas mileage. It's comfortable. It's got all the creature comforts except for cold seats. And uh, I don't know. Some people love them. Some people hate them. So that being said, those are all the things I did to the truck. I hope you guys just saw that picture that I just posted of it. That's it all completed. We we're up at my buddy's house up at Rampart here in Colorado, but that's what the truck looks like now. That's the whole list. There might be more things that get done to it. Oh, actually one more thing. I did do it. I did that resonator delete, which actually made the truck sound a lot better. You know what? I didn't just do the resonator delete. I also did an intake and you guys saw that video. So the truck's got more things done to it than I actually shoot, can even really remember, but there probably will be more things done to it. So stay tuned for those. So now guys that I have talked about all of those upgrades, I'll actually even post a picture of the S and B intake that I put in. I can't really do much about the exhaust. I just had that made at a shop for like 60 bucks. Um, but I will post a picture of the S and B intake as well. And uh, again, I want to buy something else for the channel. I want to buy something cool. Uh, I really want to start getting this thing monetized so we can start doing some cooler stuff. Because, dude, I just watched Street Speed 717 jump his Lamborghini. I would love to be doing stuff like that, but we got to start making some revenue first. So, tell me what you guys want me to buy for the channel. Drop it down in the comments below. Thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll catch you in the next video. Peace.